I could chew on this and poems by dogs. Inside, chapter one. We were wolves once, wild and wary. Then we noticed you had sofas. Dog dictum. I lose my mind when you leave the house. The plants are torn, the garbage strewn, the wires chewed. The couch and I had a fight. Your bed is soaked, your liquor spilled, your TV smashed. Your laptop no longer has any vowels. There's a smartphone in the toaster, there's a toaster in the toilet. There's a toilet in the hallway. There's underwear in my mouth. I went places I should never go. I saw a side of myself I should never see. I said things to the cat I can never take back. So please don't ever leave again. I've been watching. Maybe you should shift to your left. Maybe you should move your knee. Maybe you should go a little slower. Maybe you should stay there a little longer. Maybe you should try talking this once. Maybe you should never say that again. Maybe you could play dress up. Maybe you don't know how to act like a pirate. Maybe you don't want my advice. Maybe this is not the time or place. But I've been watching you two every night for the past six years. So maybe I know a little something about making love. On the TV. Whenever I hear a dog bark on the TV, I bark and bark and bark, but the dog on the TV never barks back. Probably because a lot of celebrities are really stuck up. Hoarding. Woohoo! A remote! I'll take it. Oh, a sponge. I'll take it. Oh, a shirt. I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> a plastic bottle. I'll take it. Oh, a USB drive. I'll take it. Oh, carpet padding. I'll take some. Oh, underpants. They're in my mouth now. Ooh, a uh, thing. That's going under the bed. You may think this hoarding is a problem. You may think that I need some help. But I prefer to see it as a very gradual robbery. So hand over your left slipper. Dance of joy. This is the dance I do for you, do for you. This is the dance I do for you as you get my can of food. This is the twirl I do for you, do for you. This is the twirl I do for you as you open my can of food. This is the leap I do for you, do for you. This is the eight foot vertical leap I do for you as you stop serving my food to answer the phone. This is me running in sheer panic, wild panic. This is me running in desperate, gasping, blind panic as you continue to talk on the phone. This is me losing my mind, my brains, my cool. This is me wondering what the could be so important that you're still on the phone. This is me realising I was howling out loud, really loud, and that perhaps I overreacted just a little. So this is me eating the food you give to me. Always give to me. Going somewhere? I know this routine. The gathered clothes, the miniature toiletries, the bag with wheels, handle and a zipper. I know what happens next, the short trip, the long trip, the time away from me. I know there's nothing left but the farewell licking, the final whining, the last minute burying of all your ID. Like I said, I know this routine, and this time, Delta's leaving without you. <laughs> Subterfuge. 
A nudge of nose, a sleight of hand, and within a minute it is done. I appear by your side, right there for the drop, and another mission is complete, as spies in the night, as agents in the field, and as couriers we must not be caught. Then something goes wrong. Then I hawk up a bone, then twelve pieces of meat, and then that napkin I ate without thinking. A resource is lost, a network undone, and alas, there will be no more table scraps tonight. Buffet. Okay. All right. Hold on. Just another second there. I've successfully digested a dirty diaper. <laughs> really? The things you people throw out in a garbage pail at nose level. But hey, I'm always up for a challenge. Nothing seems to work. I use my teeth. I try my paw. I whine a lot. I walk in circles. But nothing seems to work. Then, with a twist of your wrist, you turn the doorknob. And that's when I finally realize you're a wizard. Bored. I get so bored, so very bored being all alone, stuck inside this house, 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 house. Which explains why I shove my head inside this jar and everything has an echo. Now, does anyone have any Vaseline? Where are you? I was so worried. I was so scared. I thought that I had lost you and the life we both shared. I searched through the entire house, from the basement to the attic, the living, dining and bedrooms, even the trash cans because I was frantic. Up and down the staircase, back and forth across the halls, in and out through every door, louder and louder were my calls. I had given up every hope. I had given in to despair. I had given the bad news to the pet cat who gave me a look before re-licking her hair. But just when all seemed lost, I found you and it gave my heart a rush to see you sitting startled but alive and well. So if you don't mind, I'll just stay here until you flush. <laughs> Seasons barkings from our litter to yours. Holiday card. Two little sweaters. Two big smiles. Two happy pets together. Too cute. Then the photo is taken, the cat swipes at my face, and we mail out our annual lie of family bliss. Happy holidays. Bath. Bath! I'm taking a bath! Hey! I'm taking a bath. I'm taking a soapy, sudsy, oh so foamy, big old bath. Just thought you should know that I'm taking a bath. Now I'm going to shake. Oh, now that feels so good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must run back upstairs to finish my bath. Bath! Judgment call. I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go, I don't want to be wrong, I just want to be good. But I know they are waiting and I want to succeed so I pick a spot on the newspaper only to pee on the arts section. Now, everyone thinks I'm a philistine. Oh. Doorbell. That was the doorbell. 
Somebody rang the doorbell. Somebody's at the door. I can hear them at the door. I can't wait to see who's at the door. Oh, please, let me see who's at the door. Why are you taking me away from the door? Why am I being put in this room, away from the door? Oh, magical, mysterious person who rings our doorbell. One day we shall meet. <laughs> Sympathy. I'm not expecting any sympathy. I'm not asking for any pity. I'm not seeking any condolences. I'm not hoping for any sorrow. But that giant roast you were going to have for your party before I just ate it still isn't sitting right in my belly. So maybe I am expecting a small sense of gratitude from saving you from this pain. I dropped a ball. I dropped a ball in your lap. It's time to play. I just put a ball in your lap. So it's time to play. See that ball I placed in your lap? That means it's time to play. You can have your emergency appendectomy another day. But I dropped a ball in your lap. And now it's time to play. <laughs>